This video is sponsored by Wix Filters, manufacturers of filters for automobiles, trucks, off-road equipment, and manufacturing applications. Go to wixfilters.com for more information. Mirror, mirror on my screen so bright, who's the coolest FE editor in sight? Uh, Tess, that's a phone camera, not a mirror. Yeah, but I think I prefer this to my regular reflection. I mean, these filters and the lighting makes it look so much better. And hey, I'm not the only one opting for technology on this front. Just recently, I got to take a quick trip down to Lexington, Ohio to find out more about Stone Ridge, a technology component provider for the heavy duty commercial industry, who proves just how effective technology can be compared to traditional mirrors. FE was on site for an in-depth look into the company's vision and safety product offerings for the commercial vehicle market, specifically its mirror eye technology. Situated within the manufacturer's parking lot sat a Freightliner Cascadia, but a small nuance set this one apart from the ones we typically see. Notably absent were traditional West Coast mirrors. In their place were advanced cameras with screens mounted on A pillars inside the cab capable of giving the driver a full picture of its surroundings. Here's Mario Gafenku in charge of fleet operations, testing and validation with Stone Ridge to give you a system rundown. So first of all, Mirai, what is Mirai? It's a camera monitoring system to replace truck mirrors. It's a simple idea, provide the driver with the side views, okay. uh, providing it with high definition digital cameras on the outside and high definition digital displays on the inside, but it's a complex system. Mounted above the doors, each camera provides the driver with increased visibility through wide angle and standard views. Additionally, the system comes equipped with a right side look down and rear view lens. This aims to eliminate blind spots, especially those on passenger side that can lead to collision or other close calls. Cameras on the outside, five cameras, and then we do have three monitors on the inside for the mirror eye system. So we have a driver side monitor, and we're providing the regular view and then the wide angle view at the bottom, just like the regular glass mirror outside provides view. And we have the driver, the passenger side, providing the exact same views, the regular view at the top, wide angle view at the bottom. And then we have a third monitor. This is the monitor for that look down camera that's mounted at the bottom on the passenger side. Looking at the video, you might have noticed that each side wing comes equipped with two cameras. However, both are never active at the same time. Instead, one is for redundancy's sake and will only kick on if the other has technical issues or failure is detected. If anything happens to the first camera, the system automatically flips to the secondary camera and it will display the exact same images to the driver because they're mounted literally side by side. Coated with a hydrophobic layer, the camera lens is able to repel dust, water, and dirt. For those operating in colder climates, the system is additionally heated to ensure ice and snow won't obstruct the camera's vision. When it comes to driving in the dark, the fusion of infrared lights, filters, and high-definition vision allows the system to maintain clear, precise imagery, even as the sun clocks out for its night shift. Available in all cab configurations of the Freightliner Cascadia, Peterbilt Model 579, Kenworth T680, Volvo VNLs and VNRs from 2019 and onwards, this system offers a wide array of advantages beyond just improved visibility. Eliminating that <clears throat> improves visibility right away for the driver and it also cuts down on stress and fatigue and anxiety on the driver. All that moving around for eight, 10 hours a day, <clears throat> that's not normal. <clears throat> Looking almost 90 degrees on both sides, you know, to see your surroundings in the mirrors, it's not, it's something that really fatigues the driver. I call drivers aerobics, you know, because they're constantly moving in and out of the seat yes. to be able to look around the mirror and also get a different angle to see even where the trailer is when they make their turns. Enhanced visibility is not the sole advantage that fleets can reap through this adoption of camera technology. The choice of retaining or discarding side mirrors while implementing this technology is completely at the discretion of the customer, but Mario notes that electing to remove them can yield a 2-3% to increase in fuel efficiency attributed to refined aerodynamics and reduced drag forces. According to Mario, initially spending some time, around two to four weeks, with both the camera system and the mirrors allows drivers to get familiar with the concept. 
While Stone Ridge can't be the ones to physically remove the mirrors from the vehicle, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, or FMCSA, approved the camera monitoring system to be used as an alternative to traditional mirrors back in late of December 2018, since it meets or exceeds all visibility requirements. So when, when customers first get the system, we do we do recommend that they drive around, they allow the driver to drive around a couple of weeks, anywhere between two to four weeks to kind of get acclimated and get used to it. Because it is a, there is a period to get used to it. Mm -hmm. Just like anything new. I mean, you're going from a primitive mirror, glass mirror, to a digital system that's complex and has so many other features that you do need a little bit of time to get acclimated. The cameras record continuously when activated, always capturing footage. This recorded content remains stored within the confines of the truck, yet is readily accessible through a web-based portal, should the need arise for a safety manager to review it. Whether it's to shed light on a collision, incident, or to serve as a valuable tool in driver training, this footage acts as a source of context and potential exoneration. But this means a lot of data streaming from the system. So what can be done with it? We do have an open API okay. where we're actually working with some of the major dash cam companies that when they flag a video, they can automatically request the video off the truck, just like the safety manager would manually do it. They, we can tie it in and we can marry the clouds in the cloud. We can marry the systems in the cloud to be able for the safety managers to automatically get the videos where they don't have to uh, to go to a couple different portals. Stone Ridge is among the many technology companies reflecting on fleet operations and continuously working to make them safer and more efficient. Tune in next week for another episode of On the Road. Until then, head over to the Fleet Equipment site at fleetequipmentmag.com for even more trucking and equipment content. Thanks for watching.